The financial crisis of 2008 brought about major change. Around the world, growth remains constrained as governments, banks, and consumers try to dig out from under the burden of excessive debt. And experts believe that global economic growth will struggle for many years to come. Investors face the challenge of finding returns in a slow growth world. Portfolio manager David Burroughs, president of Barometer Capital Management in Canada, explains how investors should approach this market environment. There's often a disconnect between what's happening on Wall Street and what's happening on Main Street. Yes, we might be faced with constrained growth, but that doesn't mean investors can't generate positive investment returns. We simply need these specialized tools to understand changing investor appetite and to make investments in pockets of the market best suited to the current environment. It's critical not to get caught looking at the last market cycle for an indication as to what might work going forward. Burroughs says investor appetite for risk varies greatly over different market cycles. Investors refer to these investment periods as bull and bear markets. Bull markets are periods where stock prices march higher driven by growing investor confidence. Bear markets are periods where prices investors are willing to pay are hampered by reduced confidence. While investors tend to assess market opportunity by following economic data or a broad index like the Dow Jones Industrial Average, there's often significant variance of return from sector to sector or even company to company. At Barometer, we understand that depending on the factors at play, different investment themes do well from cycle to cycle. We call this identifying market leadership. Since the late 1800s, the Dow Jones Industrial Average has had several distinct periods of bull and bear markets. Each major bull market has been driven by a different combination of economic factors, but the commonality has been a steady improvement in corporate earnings and investor confidence. The Industrial Revolution, the economic expansions following the First and Second World Wars, and even the most recent bull markets of the 80s and 90s were all characterized by improvements in productivity and technology. What drove market returns was investor willingness to invest in the prospect of future growth. During the bear markets of the Great Depression, uh, the hyperinflationary era of the 70s and 80s, or, or the, even the most recent ec uh, investment cycle dating back to the peak in 2000, returns for the market as a whole were almost non-existent, as investor view of the future was clouded with and confidence challenged. In these markets, what works changes. As market forces shift and investor preferences change, a reevaluation occurs that can offer the vigilant investor the opportunity to capitalize on changes in market leadership. Market leadership is characterized by persistent price appreciation, which occurs as investors revalue the potential future impact of positive changes. As revaluations play out, securities often look expensive relative to the recent past and can appreciate much more than investors expect. As a tactical investment manager, we're constantly searching for these opportunities. Investor psychology is often framed by their most recent market experience. The mistake many make is not recognizing that market leadership may have changed. Leading up to 2008, investors got very comfortable paying high prices for securities linked to strong global growth. Prior to that, investors paid high prices for companies benefiting from the technology boom. The problem today is that many investors are trapped trying to recapture what worked in those markets despite a much slower global growth outlook. Today, interest rates are being held artificially low. At the same time, the baby boom generation is facing retirement and searching for ways to generate income. What's being revalued today are securities that can deliver a reliable and growing stream of income. So even as economically sensitive companies continue to struggle, investors in income-related securities are generating solid returns. History supports the possibility that this theme could continue for a long time. While today's market may be different from those in the past, Burroughs believes that parallels can be made. Despite a challenged global economy, many U.S. corporations are strong. They've emerged from an extensive period of cost-cutting with strong balance sheets and durable earnings. We've seen this before. After the Second World War, countries around the world were mired in debt and held interest rates artificially low for a long time. During this period, many corporations recognized investor appetite for income and chose to pay out much of their cash flow and dividends, inspiring investors to drive up their share prices over a long period of time. This group of corporations eventually became known as the Nifty 50, 
and by the end of the cycle, traded at prices reminiscent of tech stocks. So our models are showing a parallel to today's environment. We're seeing a similar revaluation take place in securities that can deliver a strong, growing stream of dividends. For the past 20 years, Barometer Capital Management has been identifying reevaluation themes through their tactical investment approach. The organization has applied their principles across the universe of securities and has been honored with one of the highest awards in the industry. Our clients expect us to navigate successfully through many market cycles. Barometer created flexible investment mandates that allow portfolios to morph as conditions change. Our investment process provides the foundation for tactical investment decisions. Our analytic models evaluate over 70,000 securities across 41 global industry groups daily to help identify companies and themes demonstrating market leadership characteristics. Our portfolio monitoring process includes a strict sell discipline. This allows us to hold the strong securities as long as they work, but exit those that don't work, minimizing the losses. We call this our discipline leadership approach. It's aimed at removing emotion and biases from the investment decision. To learn more about Barometer Capital, visit barometercapital.ca. Your wealth managed.